So it has been a hot minute, but welcome back to the Road to Nebula series. I, I couldn't even tell you what episode this is because it has genuinely been so long since I've recorded this. I think it's episode 13, yeah. So as you know, all right, I'm going to be doing class by class from now on because I just feel like it's a little bit better. I won't get as burnt out as much. You know, I don't have to record. It has often like coming with just the most wacky stories and that's kind of the plan today, all right? Except I'm not going to be doing a certain class. I'm just going to be doing the guns that only have like one gun in the class left to go. So pr pretty much, all right, I'm going to be doing the HE1, the long awaited one, the one that I promised that I'll do if the video got like a thousand likes and just never did it uh and we're also going to be doing the asg so both of these guns are pretty much ready to go oh <laughs> just accidentally got myself the siren nine millimeter you know how it is unlucky shame we're not doing that in this video but yeah i just want to get these two guns out of the way anyways just because you know why not plus a lot of people have been asking for the road nebula series to come back even though it re realistically never went anywhere it has been a while since i've done it and to be honest it's mainly just because i think the camera grind in zombies is just really boring like i would have found it so much more fun if the uh, if the military challenges weren't all just headshots right like if they weren't headshots i probably would have been doing this more often but yeah like at the moment it's, it's just a it's just a tad bit boring all right and there's other things i'd rather want to record and you know honestly i feel like a break away from this series and it had me a bit more excited to come back and do it you know so yeah you know if you guys do want to see the series continue make sure you guys leave a like on the video and i'll definitely get more parts of this series out uh, i'll probably do pistols maybe next obviously i've already got the gs45 pretty much ready to go so i need to get all of these like the, the headshots for all of these and then you know i could make this video so yeah if you guys want to see that again let me know and i'll do it but for now we're going to be focusing on the he one so as you guys can see here, I've done 1,874 of the kills. So I need like basically 230 more. Not even 230, sorry, 130, bro. I actually, no, no quick math with me. Uh, but yeah, I need 130 more to uh, finish up the military camos. And then for the special ones, we need to get 30 vermin eliminations and 300 eliminations while the HE1 is at rare rarity or higher. Now, this gun would have been a lot harder before season one. All right, before season one, I would have had a real, real hard time with this. Uh, but I think like after the season one update, they made the gun slightly better. It's still absolutely awful. Don't get me wrong, but it does have a bit more ammo now so it's a bit more usable so i guess it's the best time to get it done also i'm gonna be researching melia uh, meliakiato she's i couldn't say that for a second there so i can get the hidden impact augment here so yeah let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and jump into a game of liberty falls see what's gonna be fun about this right is like i'm gonna have to play liberty falls and terminus because i think to to get the asg of like fully gold and stuff like that you have to play uh terminus because you need parasite kills so you know it, it works for me i'm happy with it a little bit of variety in this video but yeah obviously like i know a lot of people like will have nebula by now so like the, the kind of trend of getting the camos is probably going to start dying off soon and i'm telling you now after i'm doing the nebula camo i really don't think i'm going to go for dark matter i might do it through like streams but i really doubt i'm going to be playing it you know for videos and stuff like that because again i'm not really a big fan of multiplayer in general so i'm probably going to do it in my free time so yeah don't expect me to you know do like a whole series on that because that's just not going to happen or the warzone grind for that matter you know you know through it all I'm, I'm a zombie channel so you know that's what i plan to play also another thing you guys might be wondering is like jake why aren't you playing this on directed mode now i'm just going to be honest now all right directed mode is without a doubt the most boring way to grind camos it's the easiest way without a doubt yeah like easily but oh my god is it boring like for the asg right i, I did a game of the he1 right I, you know got all the kills and i was like you know what it's like around 30 something let me just go ahead and get the asg fully maxed out and i guess still on that and it just wasn't really killing right so i was like you know what i'll rather just restart a new game uh, and go from there so i backed up my game it loaded into directed mode so i was like you know what let's just get this done really quick and bro it just takes so long it was like 40 minutes or something like that to get like a thousand kills or a thousand headshots sorry it's just so boring boring it's it's such a boring mode though, like a way to do it i think the best way to use utilize a uh, directed mode right is going to be for like afterlife and uh, a nebula no is it afterlife no i mean afterlife would be pretty easy with it but yeah i think it's mainly going to be uh, opal and nebula all right i think that's going to be the two that you're going to really want to use it for you know we're talking about opal i still have gold guns left to get all right i'm slacking a bit on this by the way i don't know if i've actually talked about this in the video i think i have uh, but the power drill is honestly probably one of the better melee weapons in this game at the moment it does seem to shoot like really fast so uh, in terms of all of those right like if the road nebula series is still doing at least somewhat well i think what oh my god let's not die oh my god but yeah i'm thinking about doing it right is like one season one is over i'm just gonna make a big compilation video where i get like i think it's like all six weapons either gold or like nebula in that video probably probably just gold to be honest so yeah i wouldn't expect to see any of these anytime soon also should i just turn off rampage and do so i really don't know being completely honest right i shouldn't have died there right that was kind of a skill issue so yeah i think i'm just gonna keep it on also it is currently double gobble gums as well um game are we uh, hello uh what is what is happening is it is this game serious? Uh, uh, what flawless game? Flawless game, boys. I, I truly miss the Rotor Nebula series. I mean, what, what a what a game. All right, well, luckily it auto saves for me, so I can go ahead and like bring up my old save file. But Jesus Christ, that was bad. Yeah, as I was trying to say, is it's currently double XP, double weapon XP, and double gobblegums. So definitely the best time to grind out some gobblegums if you guys want to like you know not pay for them in the store. God, I am so ready though for Citadel Demo, the new DLC map to come out. Oh, I just realized the uh, the Rampage Deuce just got turned off. I also realized there's no game audio. 
audio being recorded right now. Thank you, Call of Duty. Well, uh, slightly unlucky because it just will not fix itself on OBS. So thank you to that one. Don't worry, I'll get it working for the uh, ASG part of this video. But yeah, how many kills we have? We're in 90. Oh, it's working now. Okay, but well, bro, I will never understand OBS. Anyways, yeah, we need uh, like about 30 more kills, which kind of works, right? Because at that point, I should have enough points to immediately run up and start up that funny little head Easter egg that's going to give me like a blue uh, rarity immediately, which is perfect, right? Because again, the challenge is literally get 300 kills while at blue rarity. So we can just get started on that like straight away, which is quite nice. I, I did say that though, and then just completely forgot about the fact that we need to be on round 10. So that is kind of unlucky. Dude, I'm going to actually like end myself with this gun, bro. It is so annoying. Liberty pools, right? Like I love it, but like for grinding out the LMGs, it is so annoying because there's just so many cars, right? And like you shoot one shot near any of these cars and that's just it, bro. The whole world just explodes, bro. Actual nuke goes off. And I'm not really about that life. Like, bro, don't get me start that area just outside the church, bro. Like that is just, that is a tragic place. So that actually haunts me in my nightmares, but dude, I'm like, I'm, you know what? Like I'm not even shooting anywhere near me and it's still doing damage to me. Like this thing has just got crazy. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Like expl uh, splash damage? Yeah, like it is, it is rough, but there we go. We've got purple tiger and the HE1. Something I've actually been forgetting to do is uh, come over here and melee this little vending machine. Maybe I could have gotten like a free pack of that. That would have been kind of hype. I've had it twice in my entire life. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Right. Okay. So I've got an idea for a new potential series. All right. That one you guys is an input on. All right. So as you guys know about the whole like dark ops system, right? I was thinking about doing a series where I just try and get all of the dark ops of zombies. I think I have like four of them already, but there's still like loads more to go, right? Also, these vermin kills are actually used now to like start getting that one challenge. So that's pretty good. But yeah, like there's some cool ones, right? There's ones where it's like only use melee and there's like ones where you got to get every single weapon out of the box. Like there's some cool ones. And I feel like if I record them, I'd have more incentive to do it. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that as like a series. I might give it like a test run at some point and just see like, oh my lord, bro, I'm at 5 HP. But yeah, I might give it like a little test run and see how you guys feel about it. If you guys like it, I'll obviously keep it going. I might just be dead here. Oh my god, no, I'm not. But yeah, it's just some ideas, right? Because I do feel like until Citadel the More comes out, like Black Ops 6 is not dead. Don't get me wrong, like it definitely isn't dead, but it's just like I've kind of done everything I want to do in it, at least personally, right? Like obviously I've got Nebula to do, but it's like I'm not gonna rush my way through Nebula. That'll just be a bit silly. Oh, this is what I was saying about the uh, the little upgrade, right? As you guys can see, I now have well technically 12 shots. I just wasted one. But you now get 11 in the clip compared to what well, I think was before was like four or something like that. It was crazy, bro. I don't even know how it got past like QA testing. Oh my fucking lord, I hate the cars. You know what? I'm actually gonna blow up all of these cars now because I just don't even want to have to deal with like getting hit with explosives. I'm not even about this life. But yeah, before I can't remember what it was. I think it was like like four air shots, anyways. Yeah, and I don't know how it got past QA testing because it literally lost ammo once you pack a bunched it. It was it was insane. Honestly, it was crazy. I don't I don't know how it happened, but it happened, right? So also lovely little vermin around here. It's gonna be helpful. See, luckily we got the kills done quite early, so hopefully it will only take like maybe two or so vermin rounds. I, I can't really see a world where it takes more. So there we go, vermin rounds is done. Also, another cool little trick right there someone told me about. Now, I'm sure a lot of people already know, but if you were going for like weapons or whatever, like doing multiple weapons at once, and you wanted to keep track of how many critical kills you got in a certain game, you can actually head up here to this weapon stat section, and it will tell you all the stats of the weapon you're holding, right? So you see critical kills, eliminations, special kills, accuracy, stuff like that, right? And yeah, I didn't know about this, right? So I was like trying to keep track of weapons through like this little scoreboard here. Just massive mistake. Just actually wasted my time. So hopefully that helps some people that didn't know about that, or most people probably didn't. I'm just late to the party. Who honestly knows? Oh my god, let's not die, please. Oh dude, and we got manglers now. Okay, hold up, this is not good. I am just in desperate need of just making my way down here, like right now, and buy myself a PhD. Because if I die to myself, bro, I, I just will not be happy. All right. Okay, so mangler, go down. Bro, it doesn't even one shot a mangler. Pack a bunch, blue rarity, round eleven, doesn't even one shot the mangler. Like that is just insane work. Oh yeah, I do this now because I got PhD. Uh, PhD slider is it? Yeah. So I think if I slide into enemies, I actually kills them, which is pretty cool. It's so crazy, bro. They've done two double uh, XP weekends, and I have still prestige one because I have just not prestige since like uh, I hit it. Because I prestige once, and it was just the biggest mistake of my life. And ever since that day, I just vowed I was never gonna do it. Maybe since they're taking long enough to come out, and I actually have to like get the headshots for uh, every weapon in their class instead of just one weapon at a time, it might be the shot that I actually prestige soon. Guys, maybe we prestige at the end of the video. Who knows? So what the much like damage PC slide does? If I like slide into this guy, oh my god, okay, he's just gone. Oh, you can just keep doing it. That's like kind of OP actually. I thought it'd be like a one-time thing, but like nah. Or well, like you know, it'd have like a cooldown. That's kind of insane. Okay, well I do need to go ahead and buy ammo. I was gonna like maybe not, but again, I do need to get those 300 kills while in blue rarity. And I'd rather just get off that as soon as possible. Oh lord, oh lord, let's not die, please. I really need to buy like a self-res or something like that. Things are truly are just not going my way at the moment. All right, come on, big dog. Give me a break, please. Thank you. Okay, mute injection. I actually will take that. Okay, but let's get this thing up to purple rarity real quick. Uh, do you know what? Let's also throw a deep on burst on it. Maybe that'll help against like manglers and stuff like that. Dude, I actually love PhD slider in this game so much because you could just like launch yourself off things. Kind of reminds me of like, oh, what was it called? I think it was called like G sliding or something like 
Sailor from BO3, where like basically you hit like a slide at the very end of a surface, you go like, you know, you get a bit of like a, a boost, you know? And that's really what it reminds me of. It's so cool. Also, I'm going to go ahead and quickly waste all of my ammo and then I'm going to go ahead and pack a bunch of it. So, hope our field upgrade, which is extremely helpful for this because obviously I don't have to reload after every shot with it. The more I've used Frenzied Guard, I actually do think it's probably the best field upgrade in this game. I feel like, I mean, I could be wrong. Aether Shroud is actually really good, especially on co-op. Oh, you know what I should do? I should probably go ahead and start all of this, like the Sam Trail. So I think this one's just going to get kills in the Brie lanes or in the bowling lanes, which is calm. I mean, it just spawns in more zombies and gives me a little reward. So no harm in doing it. But yeah, the one I was kind of hoping for would be like get vermin kills, just like the spawn in vermins. That would have been nice. I think we've got a vermin round coming up. Like we, we must have, right? Like there's no way I don't. Okay, but either way, there we go. That's the entire challenge done. What are we going to get as a reward? Hopefully a tier three. We got stamina up. That's nice. Would have probably bought that as well in a second. So, I mean, that's nice to get that. Oh my God. Uh -oh. Okay, kind of forgot about the abomination. All right, this is going to be a bit of a problem because the abomination, it just, the HE1 just does not do damage to them. All right, I'm, I'm just going to get it, give it as it is. It just doesn't. So that's not good. Like really, really not good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get another weapon, I think. Where's the box at? Box is all the way down there. Oh, actually, you know what? I could just do this. Wait, no, it's a vermin round. There's no way. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. Okay, there was just two vermin there that I just killed by accident. Well, unlucky. At least it's not like an entire round from, right? That would have been kind of upsetting. But all right, there you go. He's dead. So let me just get out a butte injector real quick. Okay, how many kills we have with this thing total? So we're at 370. So I think we need like 50 more kills and then that'll be the whole like blue rarity thing over and done with. But yeah, it's literally just like these vermin kills now. But I swear we should be able to get... Oh, well, okay, there we go. I mean, just make myself look like a bit of a dumbass game. That's all right. No, it's all cool. Just uh, it's all right, yeah. Just, just maybe look stupid in front of all my friends. All right. All right. Well, hopefully we'll be able to finish up the vermin kills this round. If we don't, that would be mildly unfortunate. But, you know, what can you do? All right. So get all of these guys. I don't really know how many I was that to begin with. I wouldn't say that many, right? I'd say like maybe like 15, I would say I've got before this round. Oh, okay. Well, I must have been close to that because we just got it. So nice. That camera looks so cool as well, by the way. Okay. Yo, we're not going to be on this for too long. Because yeah, again, like we're pretty close to having the 300 kills done with uh, blue rarity. Actually, we kind of went over the, uh, the kills we need for the military camo. So it might not be uh, as close as I thought. Yeah, I might need like a, like a 100 or so. I mean, we'll just see. And if I get a Sam trial here, that would be quite nice. Got a gobble gum. What are we going to get? One more. Did we got native experience. Well, oh, nice. That's uh, that's pretty nice. I would have kind of hoped for a perkaholic there. But you know, game, it's truly whatever. Uh, I won't be hating or anything like that. Game, can you just let me get my funny little like jump, please? Oh my God, it's another abomination. Dude, they got to give the Sigma and the HE1 like a weak spot to this guy because it is just outrageous with how it currently is. Oh, uh, there we go. We got a funny little skip as well. But yeah, it, it is rough. I mean, I guess most, you know, psychopaths won't be running only the HE1 like myself, but oh, there we go. Wait, what? How did we get that so early? I am baffled by that. Okay. I genuinely don't know how that happened. Well, cool. All right. I guess we're on to gold now. Oh, no, we might not be if I die here. Holy. Uh, so yeah, basically this one was, I think it's like get three kills with one shot 15 times, was it? I think that's what it was, right? I actually could not tell you. Also, I'm going to go ahead and buy the C9 so we can start working on taking out this guy because he is just going to get in the way. So come on, boss man. Your time has come. Time to go. So I went to the final head now. God, he is just such a tanky guy. You know what's crazy, right? Like these guys are tanky, but they're still not as bad as the amalgams from uh, Terminus. Like I am not looking forward to have to deal with those guys when we go for the ASG. Actually, no, to be fair, the ASG should be pretty strong. At least I'm hoping. We'll get more into the ASG though, like when we're actually going for it in gold. First, I'm kind of hoping we'll get gold soon, which is kind of perfect, right? Because once we have gold uh, around 21, we can just exfil out of here. So it's perfect. Okay, but get all of these guys. Get, oh, there we go. We got Mr. Gold. Wow, that was super easy. Cool. So all we got to do now is just get to around 21, quickly exfil on out of here and be on my way. You know what actually would be really useful the HE1 that I'd recommend if anyone is, you know, trying to go for it still? Probably Melee Macchiato with the one that I'm currently going for, right? The one where if you get a, uh, a melee kill, you actually gain a portion of your ammo back. That would make this like actually a lot better because you wouldn't have to buy ammo as much, which is really expensive. So yeah, that is a little like pro gamer tip for you guys. You're welcome. That doesn't deserve a subscribe to the channel. I don't know what does. All right, here we go. Round 21. Let's get that one out of here. So let's call it in the XO helicopter. What's this actually wacky jump I'm about to get off here? Bam, first try. Okay, that was a little bit We don't talk about that. We just don't do it, right? We just don't, don't even bring that up, right? I don't want to hear it, all right? All right, here we go. Bam, look at that. First try. What can I say? Uh, this might be actually impossible, all right? I'm thinking right now, this might be rough. Uh, I'm going to have to like hard lock into the abomination real quick. Zombies should be fine, right? The zombies shouldn't be a problem. It's literally just that abomination. I've not even brought in anything with me. So it's like, <laughs> if I just can't kill him, like, that's just it, bro. That is just straight up it, big dog. It's not looking good, though. I'll be honest. Right now, it's not looking great. My odds aren't looking very high. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm chatting. No, I'm just dead. Um, that is f oh, holy. All right, well, um, that is just depressing. That's the depressing way to end it. But you know what? At least we got the HE1 gold. So we'll go ahead and we'll give that a quick checkout in multiplayer. Apparently, it only took 25 minutes of game time. I don't know how it only took 25 minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, because I got I got kicked out, didn't I? I was going to say big dog like game. I don't know about you guys, but I've been recording for 36 minutes. So like, let's, let's not 
all kid ourselves. All right, well, here he is in the camo menu. So there we go. You know, what? I'm not even going to go check out Ember Player. I'm just going to go check out In Zombies. I, I can't be bothered to switch over the mode. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Plus, uh, I need funny thumbnail, so it works. Right, then, so here we are. Here is the HE1. What a disastrous looking gun. Wow, this is just one of those that really doesn't look that good, I'll be honest with you. But it's done. So it's all you can really ask for, I suppose. So yeah, with the HE1 done, I guess, let's just go ahead and move on to our next weapon for this video. Or I guess our, our final weapon, I guess, is the way to word it. I, I don't really know. But yeah, let's just go ahead and move on to the ASG and get that gold as well. All right, so before we jump into a game of Terminus with the ASG, obviously I need to go over like my attachments and check out the camo requirements, stuff like that. But one thing I will say is that this is going to be a very unfortunate because the Dragon Breath rounds here is actually incredibly good. Like it actually is just really overpowered, right? But I can't use it. And now you might wonder like, Jake, who, who's stopping you? You know, like, is there some kind of like, you know, mysterious force that's compelling you not to use it? Well, no, it basically just comes down to the fact that getting headshots with it is actually extremely difficult, which is really unfortunate because I would have liked to have used it. Now, even though we only need like 100 kills, that would literally take forever if I use uh, fire breath rounds. So maybe I'll set it as like my wall by standard. Who knows? But yeah, basically I need like 100 more critical kills and then that'll get us purple tiger. I need to get 100 kills that are affected by tactical equipment. So that shouldn't be too bad. And then we obviously we need to get 30 parasite eliminations and then 10 kills rapidly with the ASG 15 times. Not too bad, right? And then yeah, once I've got those done, going forward in like other videos, I can start working again Opal and stuff like that. So that'd be pretty fun. But yeah, for now, let's just go ahead and actually first look at my attachments. So in case anyone actually cares, I'm just throwing in the Microflex, the suppressor, the CF, uh, CHF barrel, uh, extended bag two, the assault grip, which I'm not too sure if this is actually the best one. Probably not. I'd say this is probably the best one. No, sorry. This one's probably the best one. Yeah, I'm running the light stock. I'm running the steady aim laser and I'm going to be running rapid fire. And yeah, this is going to be my class. Obviously, I don't know if it's the best class or not, especially when it comes to shotguns, because I remember doing the, um, what's, oh, what's that first one called? I can't remember what it's called now. The Marine SP. All right, that was it. Yeah, I got comments saying that like I just didn't do the attachments like I'm right. So again, don't use me for attachments. Clearly, I don't know what I'm on about, which to be fair, I never claimed I was, but I mean, I was thought give my attachment anyway. So yeah, it's been actually like a hot minute since I've even played Terminus. Like I haven't really played a lot of BO6 zombies in general, right? Like I probably should have gone into this more in the whole HE1 part of this video, but like I've just really been kind of doing other things. Like I've just been busy in like real life and I've been busy recording other types of videos. Also, I can't believe she got a self drive kit after like the second zombie that is kind of insane. But you know, I just really haven't put too much time into Black Ops 6 in general. I'm not bored of the game. I don't think it's a bad game. I've just, you know, been doing other things. I'm curious to see like how you guys are finding the game. I guess like we're, we're like well over a month now into release. So like, you know, how are you guys finding the game? You're like, are you guys kind of ran out of things to do or are you guys still got things to, I guess, play and all that jazz? I know they've just added proper into the game, which is pretty fun. Kind of want to check that out at some point, but yeah, I don't know. All right, I'm curious to see where you guys all like stand on this game. It's kind of like another reason why I want to take a bit of a break from the whole camera grind series. And it's because I don't really want to get too burnt out in the game, right? Like obviously I just sat there and then, you know, spoke the utmost amount of shit saying that I haven't really got a whole lot left to do or like I'm, I've kind of doing other things, but you know, I do kind of want to keep the camera grind a little bit more open so that if one day I do feel like coming back or like I want to make a video in the game, you know, I could just do a camera grind video, all right? I've got that option because what you'll see, right? Is you'll see a lot of people, right? Just, just rush through the camera grinds, you know, do everything they can within like the first week of the game or like two weeks of the game and then be like, wow, I've got nothing left to do. And it's like, well, what, what, were, you, what were you kind of expecting, big man? You know, this is why I'm hoping like they would just cook with the seasonal content. I mean, straight up season one compared to Cold War, this season is actually kind of wacky, a little bit insane. Like, I mean, we're straight up getting a new zombies map in season one, like, you know, not even not even two months after launch. I mean, what? It's coming out in, in less than a week, you know, like that's kind of insane, right? As, especially as like a zombies fan. Plus we're getting like new weapons. I think there's like new maps coming in this season as well, like, or like mid season, which, you know, it usually is, but you know, this season it is just packed, right? I feel like season two might be a little bit dead, but I mean, you know, we'll have to see when, you know, that eventually comes up. But yeah, I'm, I am hoping they just cook up just something uh, just incredible every single season. I'm really hoping for new modes in, uh, in Black Ops 6 Zombies. That's what I'm hoping for. I mean, rumors has it that Turned is coming back eventually at some point. So I just failed that. Oh my fucking God. But yeah, apparently Turned is going to be coming back. So that's going to be pretty cool. Is it Turned that was coming back or is it Grief? I think Grief is also coming back. I don't really know how Grief is going to work. I don't know. I'm not really excited for both Turned or Grief because I'm going to be real, right? They, they weren't that good of modes. Like I'll just be the one to say it. A lot of people don't like saying it. For some reason, everyone likes praising those two modes, but they just really weren't that fun. I'm just going to say it as it is, boss man. Dude, it is just like impossible to defend. There we go. Holy. That was just not going my way right there. But yeah, I'm hoping for like a gun game mode. I feel like gun game and zombies would be so cool. Obviously, you know, it's a thing in like BO3 mods and stuff like that. And that's genuinely one of the more fun mods you can get in BO3 and BO2 and also BN1. Like they're really cool, right? So I would love to see it be like an official mode in zombies. And it'd be so easy to implement. It's just like get points 
guns. If you down, you get the bolted. And you know, whoever gets to the, I guess, the final gun first wins. I think that would be sick. I really do think it'd be super cool. Like, bro, they need to actually get me in a Treyarch HQ, right? Mr. Mr. John Treyarch needs to, you know, pull me up. He, he's got my phone number, right? Because we go way back and stuff like that. And he just seemed to be like, Renzaru, make your way to the studio, bro. Get get cooking. Oh, hello, Parasite. Goodbye, Parasite. Uh, we've still not even got the 100 critical kills we need yet, which is a little bit rough. Yeah, a lot of his kills really aren't coming through as critical kills, which is kind of upsetting. See, I can't wait to have the critical kills on shotguns just done. I think there is like a new shotgun though coming in mid season. So that's going to be like real fun to get done. But yeah, like, bro, shotguns are just the worst for it because if one bullet seems to hit the body, like, that's just it, bro. Like, that's just a regular kill. It's so annoying, but it's whatever. We get it done. All right. See, and it really sucks because it would have been nice to have done these uh, parasite kills here towards the whole 30 parasite challenge. Like, look at this, bro. Like, none of these are carrying as critical kills, which is insane. Okay, cheeky little gobble gun. What are we going to get? We got respawn cycle. Wow. What a gobble gun. In all fairness, right? Respawn cycle is actually not that bad in this game compared to what it was like in like BO3. I think BO4 was recent cycle in BO4. I think it was, but yeah, compared to those games, like it is actually pretty good in this game because essentially it re rolls your weapon to a weapon of either the same rarity or actually higher. So obviously, you could get like technically a gold weapon super early. Okay, hopefully, once I pack punch this gun though, we should be able to get critical kills easier. We should nearly be done in all fairness. Like, I've got 92 so far. Like, it wasn't even 100 I needed, it was like 90 something. So yeah, we should just be done soon. It'd be nice if I could get it before I have to kill this parasite. Okay, so 98, 99. Come on, bro. Yo, I should have it by now. This is rigged. 100, 100, bro. Come on, we should have it by now. Surely. I'm gobsmacked. Was it a little over 100? It must have been. Unlucky. I can't remember what, like, how many was that, to be honest with you. Oh, it was like less than 100, though. I mean, I guess I could try and get these guys. See if maybe like it'll just push us over the edge of it. Oh, oh my god, it actually did. <laughs> That's so dumb. All right, well, there we go. Uh, I can't lie, boss man. I've already forgot what the other challenge was. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's get 100 kills while they're affected by the tactical equipment. All right, I remember now. Might take a little bit longer than I initially four but i mean we'll just see right because i just gotta keep buying decoy grenades i feel like someone told me another way that you could do it that was kind of helpful so apparently yeah so apparently shock charges are actually like really good so i mean that's cool i guess i don't know where like the nearest crafted bench would be they did say like they wouldn't craft them but they are apparently like the best ones so bro what is that in the bottom left that's just actually not what it's asking me to look for but yeah they do cost 500 yeah apparently everything but smoke works so yeah i mean we don't really have much of a choice yet we're just gonna have to like get some kills yeah hopefully we can maybe like get the shock charges though just like naturally off the ground that would be kind of cool but now i will just build uh I, I guess build one yeah that's the word i'm looking for and then we'll just see how good they are also i can go ahead and shoot the funny basketball over here i think so where is it you can shoot it right hello it's literally right there all right i'll come back for that but yeah if you shoot that oh parasite yeah if you shoot that you get like a bunch of points so it would be nice to do that also you know what little shout out thank you dark wolf and lonely ghost for all that uh whole tip with the shock charges if it actually you know is good i mean we're about to find out anyway so here we go let's just get all all of these kills yeah this is like actually really good wow that gave me a decent bit of time to do that nice oh and we have another one straight away yo bro i am not having a good time shooting this basketball oh okay i think i got it well, there we go so there we go you look at that look at all the points i'm gonna get bam you can get like two thousand points yeah look at that then if you're running like a double points you technically get like four thousand it used to be better right you used to get like what was it like 32k or something like that or i think you get up to like 64k i don't really know how it was like bugged but yeah it used to be like really really bugged another parasite so there we go i think it's that parasite challenge that's really gonna hold us back i feel like all right let's shock up again shoes that was actually a lot of kills there quickly craft me up another one actually is there even enough zombies this round to even like justify it no i don't think there is yeah all right well let's just get off the round then so big man mangler you gotta go boss man you have gotta go will they just drop loot key not for me i mean i guess i could use the loot keys to maybe like try and get equipment could maybe be the shot i mean i might as well give it a try you know oh my god boys the gta community is is just out of hand all right the amount of people that are coming up with like weird speculations for when the next gta trailer is going to drop is insane some are obviously like jokes but there's some are like taken really serious like I, I saw a thread on them on the, on everyone's favorite app twitter.com and some of them were just absolutely horrendous bro like one of them was like there was bullet holes in a car and so they were like yeah bro we're gonna turn these bullet holes into i think like braille and the braille apparently gave like a, like a date it was it, it's actually insane bro like they, they need help actually need help i think the most recent one was like there was a moon in the background they were like yo guys if we look at when this moon's gonna appear in real life it's gonna appear on like like this date and that's when gta trailer is going to drop but in in all fairness right it would have been really cool if it dropped on that day i can't lie like one of these dates it's going to be real and people are going to be like nah nah it's not real and then just say like the, the trailer actually drops also we just finished that parasite round did not get the um funny parasite challenge done so that's not good all right let's go let's go let's go see this gun doesn't really kill fast enough like i feel like it'd be better if the gun would actually kill like zombies fast enough you know what i mean gobble gum though what are we gonna get We've got two gums this time wall to wall clearance that gun uh gobble gum seems absolutely pointless and and nowhere but there. Truly unlucky times. Actually, 
you know what? In all fairness, no over there actually isn't that bad because it instantly revives the person you teleport to. I didn't know it did that. I thought it just like teleported to do like a down player. But uh, but yeah, it actually uh, it just revives them, which is cool. God, we're not getting very lucky with like equipment and stuff dropping on the floor, are we? Getting a lot of lethals, but not a whole lot of equipment. I say that and we just get a decoy. Lovely stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe decoys are still better. I don't know. Like that lasted a lot of time. That lasted a lot of time. Is that the way you'd word it? Well, it doesn't even matter because we just did it. So I'm just yapping the yap here. So yeah, with that all like special challenge done, the only one we need now is just that parasite round one. So hopefully I get that soon. I think we just need like one more parasite round, I would say. And then yeah, obviously like once we get that, uh, it's just the rapid kills and then yeah, we should be good. Oh, there's an amalgam. Yo, what's up, boss man? Oh, am I, am I dead? No, I'm not dead. Somehow I didn't actually get grappled there. Okay, amalgam, come on. It's it's time to go, bro. Thank you, boss man. Yeah, the ASG is like really good against the amalgam. Oh, oh, oh. Let's not die, please. I think we're good. I think we're good. But I would like to get this thing up to like tier three. Can't lie to you, boss man. Especially with the whole like rapid kill thing. Because it's going to get, it just doesn't really kill very fast. But I feel like that's where Dragon Breath rounds would have become like actually massive. You know what I mean? See, it's like incredibly good for the boss fight as well. You guys don't know, right? Like the ASG with Fire Breath rounds just absolutely just destroys the boss. Like it is not even funny. Also, I don't know why I keep saying 18 is my highest round. It's just like not true game. Just straight up, straight up like misinformation right now. New Gobblegum, though. What are we going to get? Anyone be here? That is actually unfortunate. We moved up. Where is the Sam trailer? Bro, it's all the way over here. I know it's not going to be, but it could be a parasite challenge. It's critical kills. God damn it. Could maybe get a parasite, maybe? Oh, this is not good. I have like no ammo as well. Oh, parasites. Oh my god. We got two. All right, it was all worth it. So you wouldn't be laughing, all right, if that was like the last two I needed. Not a soul would be giggling then. God, yeah, we just aren't getting this whole like challenge done <laughs> because I just have no ammo. I think I'm just going to go ahead and pack a punch. Who knows, bro? Maybe I can hit the pack a punch off, get like the last couple critical kills, and everyone's happy, you know? Okay, we pack a punch. So there we go. This should help with the rapid kills at least. No, we actually got decently close. I got to 36, 37. That's actually not bad. But having to like run halfway across the entire map, I'm happy with that one. Bam, I got some crazy loot though. Ready? Watch the shit. And bam, look at that, boys. That was insane. I actually got more excited for the two parasites than I did for the loot. Wild times out here. Come on, we're going to have a parasite around kind of soon though, right? Like, it's been so long. Oh, here we go. All right, perfect. Okay, there we go. Parasite eliminations done. So all we're onto now is just the rapid kills. Then we should be good. So at least we can start these now with the rest of these parasites. Oh my god, I wish we could get it all done this round because I could exit next round. We have this round and a bit of next round. I believe. I believe we can get this done. Oh, we're absolutely getting it done. Technical trap. Oh, boys, we're getting it done. Now, the reason I'm excited about this is because obviously it spawns in more zombies. So we should definitely get it done here before the at least the end of round 20, right? Like, there's no way we don't. But we're just going to keep killing here. Absolutely going to town. I think it's like 150 kills or something like that. That you need total. I believe. I believe boss man. Dude, I'm actually about to run out of ammo. How am I going to run out of ammo but still haven't completed all these rapid kills? I am I'm in shock, bro. Actually in shock here. We've got to be close now, right? Like, surely. Oh, we got it. Well, okay, well, there we go. Maybe I've had to, like, build for a hot minute now, you know? All right, well, either way, go ahead and call in the exit helicopter. And let's just get out of here. So we need to make our way all the way up there. Which is a little bit annoying, but can we move. Oh, actually, you know what? This is going to be really dumb, and I could honestly fail the exit here, but is it this rock here you have to blow up? I think if you blow up that rock, yeah, you can pick up this little canister. Now you have, like, double the amount of airtime underwater. I don't know why I want to do that. I, I just I just wanted to. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. I mean, I could just call in the uh, helicopter I've got, but that's like a last resort, you know what I mean? All right, we do have an amalgam, though. Let's just go ahead and clap him up real quick. Oh, my lord, let's not die, please. Okay, he's just dead, though. Okay, amalgam's just gone. That's hype. Yo, we should be calm here. We got so much time as well. You get so much more time on Terminus. Obviously, to account for, like, getting over to the island, but nah, it's still, like, a really, really long time. Okay, one more kill after this. So, where is he at? Hello? You're really kind of screwing me over here. Where is this last one? Oh, because there's a mangler. Actual intense battle, and just like that, he is dead. So, there we go. Let's get that one out of here. And with that, we got the ASG gold. So, I'm very happy. So, yeah, that is going to be it. Pretty much for the video. I'm going to obviously go check out the weapon. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the video. I know it's not as many guns, but I thought, you know what? I might as well just whack these two guns together because why not? Like, I could have put them into separate videos, but just like, who actually cares? Let's just get them over and done with, you know, be on our way. And yeah, obviously, I'm going to start working on probably pistols for the next episode. So, be on the lookout for that. But yeah, there we go, boys. Mystic Gold. I actually will jump into a game of multiplayer for this one. And so, here we are. Here is the ASG. It actually looks really nice. But I just think the gold camera just looks so much better in multiplayer maps. Like, I'm sure the Sigma, uh, not the Sigma. It was a Sigma, no, the, the HE1, that was it. Would probably have looked a lot better in this, uh, I guess, like, mode. Because, yeah, like, this looks absolutely beautiful. Like, wow. Plus, with the camera, I've got these little, like, blue little accents that go through it. It's just really cool. So, yeah, other than that, that's going to be it for the video. Again, thank you guys for being patient and, you know, waiting for the Rosa Nebula series to come out. I know you guys do seem to like this series, but there seemed to be a little bit of, you know, less interest in the series. So, I kind of just stopped doing it. Plus, I was doing other things. So, yeah, if this video does well, I'll definitely keep the series going and I'll try and get out the next episode as soon as possible. But, yeah, you know, aside from that, I appreciate all the support on the channel and I will see you guys in the next video.